Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 58. For the episode ahead, I actually don't know uh, too much what I'm going to be doing. I've um, got a few options. Could continue with Slayer. I'm not too far off level 98 um, and continue trying for a Hydra task because I still do want to get that leather as soon as possible for the Ferocious Gloves. Um, otherwise, there's the potential to do some skilling and start working on some of the goals I set out um, for 2019 um, but yeah we'll just see how we go I've still been doing a lot of farming like 700k XP um, above level 99 now and uh, going strong with that uh, continuing to look for the bottomless bucket amongst other things um, so I hope you guys enjoy the episode all right got another Hespori grown and killed can we get anything good five teak seeds and another Atus which is the best one so pretty pleased with that I just got the jar of dirt, which is um, pretty rare. I don't know the exact drop rate. Um, it's only my second jar um, after getting the uh, jar of sand from Calphite Queen. Um, that was a very lucky drop. Um, this one, I guess I've done 1800 kills, so it might be near the drop rate, not too sure. Um, yeah, just doing cracking tasks really to try and get the pet and um, maybe enough tentacles to upgrade the trident. Hey, there we go. That's what we like to see. Another Kraken Tentacle. I think that will make four in the bank, so six left to go. They're pretty rare, but um, might get there one day. Hey, got a new PB on the Hespori. Can I get the bucket? No? Kronos Seeds? Ah, I'll take it. And the Dwarf Weed's not too bad. I seem to be having pretty decent luck getting these Hydra Tasks. 179, so might as well do it. Um, hopefully get lucky, see what we can uh, get in terms of unique drops. Um, really just the leather that, that I want to get, that's the only useful drop left for me now, so um, see if we can get that. There we go, that is 98 Slayer, so one left to go until 99. Um, done about half the task, no drops as of yet. Um, we'll continue obviously doing the 89 that I've got left and see if we get anything. Well, it's a unique drop. It's not the one I wanted and frankly a pretty useless one, but that is the Hydra Tail. So literally, yeah, all I need now is the leather and I will have uh, every single drop from the Hydra. New personal best. I'm hoping to break the one minute mark at some point. Can we get anything good? Uh, not really. Hit the uh, rare drop table again. Dragon Spear and two Demeds. Well, the Demeds are a normal drop, but um, yeah, odd. Well, that is my third Hydra's Eye, so that's another uh, Brimstone Ring that I'll hopefully be able to complete at some point, although if I get the leather before, I don't know what I'm going to do really. And that is the Hydra task done, so um, still no leather for the Ferocious Gloves. Uh, 645 kills so far, so just going to have to keep on trucking with this one. Broke the one minute mark for the Hespori. Come on, Bucket. Ugh. Kronos Seeds and Toad Flax, that's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. So I want to take a little bit of a break from Slayer and I was looking at my skills and thinking what would be a good thing to train and I realised that I've had a Zenite Shard, the fourth one, in my bank for a while and um, basically I want to get that turned into an Amulet of Torture so I'm going to go ahead and um, aim for 93 crafting and then obviously a plus five boost to be able to make that amulet. Um, I've pretty much got all of the sand that I need and probably need to collect about um, a thousand more. Um, and looking at the giant seaweed, I calculated this. I think once I've reached 10,000 giant seaweed, that will actually be enough for 99 crafting. So that's pretty cool. Obviously getting the sand will take quite a bit longer, um, but it's nice to start thinking about um, sort of skills banked in terms of 99s construction as well once I've got 100,000 teak logs along with the mahogany and the uh, small amount of oak planks that I've got that'll be 99 um, banked as well so yeah pretty cool to start thinking about skills in those sort of terms um, but gonna go ahead and start training some crafting all right kill number 11 let's get the bucket no UC's decent though there we go, that is 91, so two left to go. Another PB, very nice. Please give me the bucket. 
No. There we go, that is 92, so halfway to 99 as well. And that is 93 crafting, so I need to go and get myself an onyx. I'm just going to sell some of these chaos runes that I've amassed from Hydra, and then uh, get a plus 5 boost and make the Amulet of Torture. Nice, got the plus 5 boost, so just have to enchant it. And that is the Amulet of Torture, so going to be very good for Slayer. Um, and anything where I don't really need the defensive bonuses of the Fury. Um, slightly less prayer as well, but um, best in slot melee offensive amulet. So pretty pleased to get that. I've had the uh, Zenite and the supplies for 93 crafting for a while, so nice to finally get that. Got a rune crafting level coming in. That is 79. Um, I want to start chipping away at um, getting 86 uh, for the achievement diaries. Um, it's about 50 hours of uh, blood rune crafting from 79 to 86, so definitely not going to do it all in one go. Probably just do uh, a level here and there, I think. Alright, 12 Hespori. I can feel the bucket on this kill. Definitely. Definitely not. Well, that's a pretty nice hard clue. Armadil boots. I think that might be my third pair. And it is. I've been dropping the master clue trying to get a new one because I still don't have the flared trousers. I've been doing a few easies here and there as well to try and get those, but um, they're pretty rare, so not counting on it. Big level coming in. That is 98 defense. And as is customary, switching over to attack. 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 Um, <laughs> And uh, going to get that to 98. And I think what I'd quite like to do is um, get 99 attack and defense at the same time. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I just opened my bank and um, my overall bank value has finally hit one bill, which is a pretty nice milestone to reach. A lot of it is tied up in um, resources, I guess. So I got a shit ton of herbs and potions and stuff like that, which probably get consumed at one point or another. But... Um, yeah, uh, that's a nice little milestone. Got myself another Berserker Ring. Um, got a Dagonoff Task off Konar in Waterbirth, so I figured I would do some DKs. And uh, here I am. And there is another one. I still have not had a Warrior Ring in 624 Rex kills. Just got back-to-back -back Rings of Life at Rex. I don't actually know how many of those I've had. Um, yeah, I... I it doesn't really matter that I've not got a warrior ring, but it's just odd not to have one in this much KC. Just glad that I didn't go that dry on a berserker, to be honest. Got another very big Hydra task. This could very well be the one that gets me the leather for the ferocious gloves. Um, probably not going to do this all at once. I've done such a lot of Hydra in the past uh, couple of episodes, so I might um, break it up and uh, turn back to doing some more skilling for a bit. Not too sure, but... Um, yeah, it would be really nice to finish up and get the last drop that I need from here uh, within this task. Ooh, another Wooden Shield G. Doing a few easies, going to see if I can um, get lucky and get those um, flared trousers. And I'm dropping the Master Clue every time I open a casket anyway, because if I get a new Master Clue, might be able to do that one. Random level coming in, but um, that's 92 thieving. I'm not really sure where I've got most of my XP from 91 to 92. Um, fair chunk of it has been from ham thieving because I did all those uh, easy clues. Um, I guess some of it from master farmers, and um, yeah, that's probably it. Hope the uh, Hespori clips aren't too repetitive. Please tell me if they are, but. Um, yeah, got to keep doing it until I get the bottomless bucket, so um, yeah. Ooh, that completes the set. Alright, got another Hespori to harvest. Can we get the bucket? Hoping so. No. Um, I've actually switched over to using the Kronos seeds in the Anima patch because um, I think it should allow me to do one Hespori every day rather than every one and a half day, so hopefully um, get the bucket a bit sooner. Hit some well good specs on that with the uh, Crystal Halberd. New personal best, can we get the bucket? No. White Lily Seeds, eh, good for contracts I guess. 
And unfortunately, that is it for today's episode. Hope you have all enjoyed watching. Um, next episode, not too sure what I want to do, to be perfectly honest. Um, might try something a bit different and uh, head over to God Wars, maybe some Bandos, um, medium clues possibly for Ranger Boots. Um, or I might just end up doing Slayer and Hydra Tasks again. We shall see. Um, hope to see you guys back in time for that episode. Take care.